Hey guys, so I just wanted to do a video on how to make baby food. I did not do an introduction or anything, so I just went ahead and did a voiceover. Right here, I'm showing the different containers I have to store my baby food. Right here are the baby carrots that I use. Um, and then I also have breast milk that I use as well. I just used just over five ounces. Okay, so first off, I just wanted to say sorry for the background noise. I am watching daycare kids right now, and I'm playing a video because it is time to rest for them. Um, here I am washing the carrots, and then I go over to cut up the carrots. Um, I did use baby carrots, and I did not have to peel them. Here is me pouring it in the water. I use the recommended amount, which is you fill the canister to three, and you pour it into the reservoir. I plugged in the baby cook and started to steam the carrots. Um, to steam the carrots, it takes about 20 minutes, and um, it will make a noise. I will show later in the video what the noise um, is when it does stop and it is done um, steaming. But it does take a little bit to steam them, and it will let you know when they're done. Um, and then, meanwhile, while these steam, I do go ahead and cut up some more carrots. Okay, so here I am cleaning the carrots. Like I said, while the other carrots are steaming, I cut up some more carrots. I had a ton of carrots, so I wanted to cut them all up, and then I'm going to freeze a bunch of them for her so that we can thaw them out and she can eat them throughout the week. Um, here I bring them over to the table, and I start cutting up the rest of the carrots. Okay, so here I'm cleaning up my mess, and then here is the end result of all my carrots cut up and cleaned. So then I just put a top on the container, and I put them in the fridge. Okay, so here I realized that I think the steam was a little bit too hot to be underneath my counter, so I'm just going to have to start pulling out my baby cook so that it has more air flow, I guess, more area for the steam to rise. Um, so I just let them steam and continue, but I just pulled it out from underneath my cupboard. So that's just a hint. Do not put it underneath your cupboards when you're doing this. Okay, so here is the sound that the machine makes when um, the steaming part is done. Um, it just beeps a couple times and the light will flash and then when you're ready to grab them out, go ahead and grab them out. And with carrots, you want to make sure that you strain out all the water. Um, the nitrates in the carrots you do not want to put back into the baby food, so all the steamed water you want to get rid of. And like I said, it took a lot more breast milk than I thought it was going to take. Um, so my mistake is I was using all breast milk. I realized later I should have just put a little bit of water in because most baby food you're going to um, take some of the steamed water and put back into the baby food and that gives it a little bit more of the runny consistency. Um, but I was using all breast milk and obviously, as everyone knows, breast milk is liquid gold and it's really hard to get so much. Um, I'm not sure my supply is the greatest right now so I want to make sure that next time I use a little bit of bottled water and then um, I will use my breast milk for the rest of it. Another thing that I wanted to mention is that you do not want to use frozen breast milk because you cannot refreeze breast milk. You want to make sure that you use freshly expressed breast milk and then you are able to freeze it for however long breast milk can be frozen. Um, I did a video on the um, amounts of times that breast milk can be frozen, so you can go look back at that video. But I just wanted to let you know that ahead of time because you will be re um, you will be freezing this food 
Um, so you, that would be considered refreezing the food. So you just want to make sure you have freshly expressed breast milk. Okay, so here I already dumped out the steamed water and I'm dumping the carrots back into the baby cook. And I, for some reason, did not video anything. I don't have any footage of me um, starting to blend the carrots, but I do have it going into where it's already blended and I'm just trying to get the consistency that I want. Okay, so like I said, here is the footage of me getting the consistency that I want. I keep dumping in breast milk. Um, I just have the tail end of the footage for that. And then I, look at the consistency that I want, it was a little bit jiggly, but I actually, once I fed it to Kylie, realized it was a little too thick. So I did end up um, adding a little bit of water to it and it ended up being the perfect consistency. I wish I would have shown that bit of footage. Um, so anyways, this is me putting it into my baby food containers. These are the ones that I put into the fridge, as you can see now. And then I am putting them into this tray, and then I will put these ones into the freezer. I only got two cubes for this, and then like I said, I have a bunch more carrots that I'm going to continue to make throughout the week, or, well, the next couple days. And then, um, yeah, so I just fill it. I don't fill them all the way to the top just so that the food can expand once it's frozen. And then I throw the top on and I go ahead and put into the freezer. Um, and then here I have a little bit left in the um, bowl, so I go ahead and put a little bit more into the um, fridge containers that I have. Um, but that is about it. And then I just go ahead and wash the um, bowl and the different baby cook items. All I did was just rinse it real quick because. I have um, more that I was making throughout the day. I did make another batch that day. Um, and then after I washed everything, I just let it sit out to dry. And then I went ahead and continued to let everything freeze. And I also got a baggie, like seen here. Um, I got a baggie ready for once those cubes are set and ready. And I went ahead and labeled them carrots and then the date that I made the carrots. Okay, so here is my baby food that I have in the freezer, as well as the carrots I will be going to make into baby food, and then here's the freezer items that I have um, getting frozen in the green container, and then here is some footage of Kylie eating the carrots for the first time. Um, it was before I added the water to get it to a more liquidy consistency, but this um, footage is with the thicker consistency. Um, she did like it still, but she liked it better with the watered down um, carrots. Um, so thank you for watching my video and I hope that you press the subscribe button as well as the like button and I hope you continue to watch some more of my videos. Thank you for watching.